Wow. Okay. Okay, Lawlers, you're in luck because today we are covering off Darius with a beginner guide on this absolute beast and noob stomper of a champ. We're going to be running in the mid lane today just for some easy, easy times talking about his abilities and trading and laning. Let's see if we can make sure we kick this Nasus out of here. Beauty, get him out. Okay, so... Darius, dude's got a massive, massive axe that he wants to be dropping on people's heads. So the way we're going to try and play this guy is very aggressive. He's a lane bully. You want to get up in the face of whoever you're playing against. Try and get them close to you and smack them with auto attacks and abilities to basically build up your passive here, hemorrhage, which is whenever Darius damages an enemy with his axe's blade, they bleed and take more damage over five seconds. This stacks up to five times, okay? So if you auto attack someone, you're right clicking them, you're using ability, it's going to stack up. When you get to five, right, they're going to take additional damage. So basically, you want to get in there with Darius, you want to be pounding down, you want to be smashing your keyboard, he's that type of champion. All right, really fun to play, and once you pick up a few kills, very easy to keep snowballing. I do not. All right, bread and butter of this guy's kit, decimate. You swing your axe around you in a big circle. If you hit somebody with the outer edge of that circle, you're going to heal for a little bit and deal a little bit more damage. So playing Darius well and getting good with this guy, a lot of it has to do with getting good at landing your Qs like that. Okay? So outer edge, right, it's going to deal. See that little blood on her right there? That's the Hembridge stack. It's dealing a little bit more damage to her over time. All right, you can use this ability not only to deal damage to enemy champ, but because it heals you, if you hit things with the outer edge, you can use it to sustain yourself up at heal and lane. You can use it to last hit minions. You can use it to deal area of effect to a massive amount of minions and push waves. Very versatile ability. Okay, it also is huge in team fights because if you're strong enough and you can get into like two, three champs and survive their burst and also deal damage with that Q, it's going to do some big healing as well. Yeah. All right. Okay, second ability generally you want to pick up with Darius is his E Apprehend. It basically pulls people in with your axe out in front of you to the tune of about that distance. Okay, so it's not huge. You're going to have to walk up, but essentially it pulls people in. It also slows them for a little bit and gives Darius some armor penetration. Okay, so generally how you'd want to use this is you're going to suck people into you just like that and auto attack them. Keep auto attacking them. Put those stacks on. Use Q and just keep beating down on them. See when you get the five stacks, you get that little red axe above them and the screen turns red for a second. That's just kind of notifying you, hey, you're a beast now. It deals so much damage over time that she literally died to that combo. Just EQ and auto attacks. So key to playing Darius well, you got to make sure you put those auto attacks in, get the work in, get those hemorrhage stacks adding up to five, and you're going to kill a lot of people. They won't even realize it. They're going to still be fighting you, not realizing how much damage is about to be dealt to them. Okay, last basic ability here with Darius, Crippling Strike. It basically does what it says. It, uh, it deals a crap ton of damage extra on your auto attack, and it also slows them. Okay, if you kill a unit with it, like a, an enemy um, a lane minion, it's going to refund some of its mana and cool down by a little bit. Okay, but I prefer to use this to, to stack up the hemorrhage, right? So you're going to eat. You're going to E her in, auto attack, W, Q, and just keep beating them down. Okay? It's, it's ridiculous. Darius is absolutely ridiculous. If you run into somebody who doesn't respect your damage and thinks they can fight you, like any melee champion, you're pretty much going to auto win. Okay? So pick a Darius if you want to get some nice, easy, early game stomps. You want to be a lane bully. And then if in the mid stages of the game, you like running into everybody and trying to fight. He's really, really fun and a great champ to do that for. So you can use your Q here to kind of hit a bunch of minions, try and get some last hits, and push waves when you kill the enemy champ so you can go back and buy efficiently, okay? You can use your W as an auto attack reset and also to last hit minions pretty good like that as well, and then use your Q like that. Pull her in with your E, W, it slows her down so you can keep following up the auto attacks and just beat them down. It's so easy with Darius. We're going to go back and buy now because we have a good chunk of gold and we also have our level 6 ultimate, Noxian Guillotine. 
this is a great ability it's so much fun it's really the essence of what makes Darius Darius and all the montages with him basically he leaps to an enemy champion and strikes them with a massive lethal blow that deals damage that's true damage that's really really important it's true damage no armor is going to stop that damage for each stack of hemorrhage that's on a target, for each of those little blood balls that's on them, right, from your auto attacks or spells before that, it's going to deal an additional 20% damage. So the way you want to use this ability is after you have them at max stacks at 5 and you see that axe above them, that's basically your cue, hey, press R on them now, okay? If you kill someone, there's more to this ability, there's so much more, we're going to be in base reading this for a little bit longer. If you kill the target with this Noxian guillotine, it can be recast at no additional cost within 20 20 seconds okay that means you can keep casting on champions so this is how you can basically pentakill a whole team all right okay first item you want to get is black cleaver in general uh, there's some niche builds and if you get really good at Darius you can build a Trinity force first that's also recommended but just as you're learning him I mean black cleaver gives you some health cooldown reduction damage just good stuff in general right as you become even an intermediate player or you get the hang of Darius try and build that Trinity force early it makes you a really really a beast Okay, so let's try and uh, toss the ult into this uh, ability combo here, okay? So we're going to wait for five stacks on the ult, okay? So we're going to gear in. One, two, three. Okay, we're waiting for five. There's the go. R, she's gone. So he jumps up in the air and basically just kills people. Wait for the five stacks, though. It's a very underwhelming ability early on if you do not get all five stacks on them. If you panic and you just press R on an enemy champion because they're in range and they don't have five stacks, the damage is almost like negligible. There's nothing, nothing's going to happen. It's going to feel like you didn't even cast the ability. So really wait till you see that big red axe above the enemy champion's head. That's your cue to go in and kill them. Okay? All right, let's run up to top lane here. Generally with Darius, the two summoner spells you want to run are Ghost and Flash, and it's to allow you to really run people down and keep auto attacking them. So we're going to Ghost now. We're going to run into these guys. We're going to E them both in, Q them, and just auto attack them down, right? Darius is so disgusting once you get ahead and you can catch somebody with a Ghost or a Flash and then into your E. It, it's just, it's too easy. It feels too easy. You guys are going to feel like gods when you're playing this guy. So the combo, uh, just again to explicitly state this combo is, if you can't get into auto attack range because they're, uh, you know, a range champ like a mage or an ADC, you want to try and get close enough to E them into you, just like this, E them into you, auto attack, W, which slows them, and keep following up with auto attacks. The only time you really want to E is if you need to heal or if they flash away and you want to kill them with a little bit more than an auto attack range. But you can really just E, auto attack, W, and keep auto attacking them down and then follow up with an alt. Okay, so we killed her again. We're going to clear out these minions with our W a little bit faster. The bleed affects the minions as well, so you'll get last hits on minions that are low enough as well. And take plates. Uh, there's not too much else to cover with this guy. I mean, he's pretty basic. He's actually a really good champ for a beginner to learn and play. So you guys should definitely try him in a few of your games if you haven't already. Your W can be used on towers, so use that to make sure you get some of those plates if you need to rush a bit of extra damage. Let's try and finish up the Black Cleaver though and do a couple more trades and just run around the map now. It won't be a montage per se, but we're going to show you guys a little bit of the, the power of this guy. Okay, so again, she wants to fight, E, auto attack, W, and then just auto attack her down. Like, you don't even need anything else. That should be able to kill her off with that bleed, I think. Yeah, right? Like, the bleed is disgusting. Five stack bleed is disgusting. Uh, the one thing I'll mention with Darius is if you spam your abilities in lane and you don't get kills with them, you're going to be in a tough spot with your mana. And without mana, uh, Darius isn't the best, right? Like, he's a, basically a caster champion, which means that you still rely on your abilities very heavily to get your full kit off and your full damage off, similar to, to Renekton, okay? So think of him as you need to make sure you have mana as well to be at your, your peak performance. So if you don't have mana, try and push that wave out really fast and recall so you can get some mana and still stay dangerous. 
think we got enough gold to pick this up now, so that's really good. In terms of boot choice, it's really up to you in the game that you're in. I know it says here essential item is a Merc Treads. In general, Darius and other champs like him really suffer against CC or people kiting them, so that's why they would recommend the Merc Treads, just so that you have the reduction on all stuns and slows. I'm going to build that here. I'm against the Cassiopeia in lane anyway, so we'll build it out. But let's just run around and have some fun and kill some people now, so you guys can just kind of see what's possible if you get a bit of a lead. Now, I know we got a big lead here, we're 8-0, and we have a 10-minute black cleaver. It, it's not impossible, you'll probably get this in your games too, so, I mean, don't think this is just crazy, like, limit testing here. Alright, so, we're gonna E her in, like we usually do, we'll Q these guys, get the last hit, auto attack W, and just keep following it up. Okay? Got those five stacks, just follow it up, okay? So we'll push this wave in, and then we'll roam bot and get some kills bot. Let's go down there and have some fun, see if we can pick up a double kill. We've got our ghost up now, so again, if anybody tries to really run away from us, we can just pop the ghost through the flash and catch up to them. We also got an oxy guillotine here, so let's see if we can get a little double kill with the guillotine here. Hopefully these guys don't die before we get there. Okay, so pull them in. W. Q. This guy's here, so we're going to try and just kite backwards with him so we can keep getting those five stacks, run back with him. Got the five stacks now. Now you can alt, deal huge amounts of damage, push this wave out with the Q. There you go. It, it's honestly, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, you don't have to save the alt as an execution style ability. As long as you have the five stacks on them, that's great. If you're in a team fight, obviously, though, you want to try and save it to, to execute the champion so you can get the reset on it and keep, keep R-ing other people. Okay, she's back over here, so let's jump in and kill her. Okay, if, if she gives you the, the abilities to walk up to her without pressing E, just do it, right? Just walk right up to them and keep autoing them. If they flash or something like that to get away, then you can E and pull them back into you. But if you're playing against someone who's not even respecting the distance they need to keep from you, just walk up to them and auto W. Easy, easy peasy. If you get ahead on Darius, he can roam, you can run to other lanes. I mean, one-on-one, -on -one, not a lot of people are going to beat this dude. So... Auto attack W, follow up with more auto attacks. If you need to heal, press your Q and heal and deal more damage. Right? Like, it's it's honestly, it's pretty fun, guys. Give him a try in your games. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your first kind of KDAs were with him, even if you picked them up. I'm interested to know if, like, somebody who never even played this champ once and is a beginner can kind of just follow this pretty easy guide here of E, auto attack, W, Q, and find some good success in getting kills. Do you need to heal? No problem. Q, kill. It, they die so quick. It's, it's ridiculous, guys. It's ridiculous. Let's go get one more double kill in the bot lane here. Is there a little plant I can use to pick up some more mana before we go there? Yes, there is. Here we go. Don't kill them. Okay, we're going to pop our ghost now just to make sure we can catch up to these guys. And we're going to auto attack W, pull him in so he can't go. I'm going to Q now to get some healing off. There's the five stacks. You can see we killed them, so our auto attack reset. There's the double kill with the R. Okay? Guys, play him, get to know him, learn his abilities, learn how to stomp early games and carry the rest of the game from being, in this case, 17 and 0. All right? Have some fun. Let me know how it goes. I'll catch you guys in the next one.